With footwear, extremely comfortable used to mean extremely ugly. Not anymore. Today's comfort shoes don't look anything like they used to. They can be just as stylish as any other shoe, but also provide sturdy, cushioning foot support. These comfort shoes come with two interchangeable insoles. One is an anatomically shaped footbed with good arch support. The other is a reflexology footbed that massages your feet while you walk. The top of the shoe is made of leather. An operator spreads the cowhide on a cutting table and positions a part-shaped steel die over it. With a press, he forces the die through the leather. The die has blades on both sides, so after cutting a part for the right shoe, he flips it over and cuts the same part for the left shoe. They stencil on guide marks for stitching and stamp on a production number. Due to the natural variations between hides, they cut parts for a pair of shoes from the same piece of leather. A production number keeps the parts from being inadvertently used on a different pair of shoes. They place the part under a template and run it through a lateral knife. This thins the leather where it will overlap adjoining parts. So the thickness of the upper shoe is uniform throughout. They apply reinforcement fabric to the most wear-prone areas of the shoe. This machine bonds these adhesive-backed reinforcements with pressure and heat. Now, sewers begin assembling the upper. They glue the parts for the lining together because stitches that are on the inside of the shoe can sometimes irritate the foot. The lining is made of soft calf leather, except for a small piece of rougher goat leather at the back to grip the heel. They sew in the lining one section at a time. This is the rear section of the upper, called the heel cap. After sewing one side, they insert a foam padding to cushion the back of the foot. Then they fold the lining over to encase the padding. This machine punches holes and embeds eyelets into the upper. Then a sewer attaches two more parts of the upper the tongue, and the vamp. Another sewer finishes the upper by stitching on the vamp ring. They put the upper into a mold on a forming machine. The machine works like an iron, applying both heat and pressure to form the heel cap into the perfect shape. The next forming machine uses the same process to round the toe cap. Now, a sewer stitches a hole to the upper. Then they steam the upper and insert a last. A last is a foot-shaped plastic form that matches the specific shape and size of the shoe. They place the upper into a heat setter. The heat forms the upper to the shape of the last. They roll out wrinkles and flatten any bulges with heat and pressure. They place the upper in a template of the shoe's outer sole and trace the top. They grind the leather below that line. This roughens the surface to help with adhesion. They apply heat-activated glue to the roughened area and the sole, which is made of molded polyurethane. They let the glue dry. Then they activate the glue with a heater and join the upper and sole. They place the shoe in a vacuum press. The press sucks out the air while drawing the upper and sole tightly together. Next, they add an anatomically shaped footbed and sole. It's made of a moisture-absorbing combination of cork and latex with leather on top. Then they lace the shoes and insert cardboard to support the shape during transport. They spray the upper with a chemical solution that makes the leather water-resistant. The second set of insoles goes in the shoe box. These shoes are designed with enough room to insert a custom orthotic device if needed.